Okay, so we just topped up with fuel and now we're gonna drive to the Okanagan, which is in central BC if you don't know where the Okanagan is. And if you don't know central BC, British Columbia is the most western province of Canada. And so we're going to the Okanagan, which is sort of like the wine country of Canada, right? Um, we're going to visit Erica's grandma and her dad will be there and we're gonna do sort of like a late Easter sort of celebration thing. We're gonna go on a fun little road trip today and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So we just got to Hope, which is just under halfway to where we're going. Hope is a very small town. I don't know how many people live here. Maybe, I'm guessing like maybe 10,000, 5,000. It depends on the time of year. Hope, I believe, is famous for being flooded at one point. And there was a landslide like a long time ago. There was like one town named Hope and then it got like destroyed and then they just sort of moved it over. And that's what it's famous for. Maybe that's why it's called Hope because people have hope that they can keep a town going. I don't know. Um, but we're here uh, just to grab a snack from Tim Hortons because we forgot to eat before we left. And because we're Canadian. And because we're Canadian. <laughs> Tim Hortons is like, you know, classic Canadian. I right? get a double-double. And if you don't know what that means, that's two creams and two sugars, and that's like the classic Tim Hortons drink. Coffee. Coffee, yeah. Two creams, two sugars. But we're just gonna go grab some bagels. Bagels, bagels. How do you say it? She says bagels. I've always said bagels. You don't say bag, you say bag. That's true. But uh, let me know in the comments because I've always wondered, I've heard people say it both ways, but I wonder how common it is for people to say bagel. And I've started saying it that way because of her. <laughs> We're just gonna be right back with some bagels. <laughs> Okay, so we're back with our bagels, bag bagels, bagels. And I did a little bit of research on Hope because I wanted to properly teach you guys about this town. So I was right, there was a landslide and um, it's- You said flood before. Flood, okay, flood, landslide. There's a road here called Flood Hope Road. So I got a little confused, but Hope is famous for having experienced one of the largest landslides ever recorded in Canada. So there's that, but also uh, a lot of movies have been filmed in Hope. Uh, I actually didn't know that mm -hmm. as an actor. A I didn't really know that. famous one, is it Rocky or Rambo? I think a Rambo. Rambo, Rambo was filmed. Parts of it were and filmed in Hope. It's not, it doesn't take place here obviously, but in one of those shots, they, he, he walks by and there's a welcome to Hope sign in the back. <laughs> I find that happens a lot. Uh, movies and TV shows that are filmed in British Columbia and Vancouver is like, wait, was that Vancouver when I'm watching it? And then there's like a sign that says like Vancouver or like yeah. a we really well-known street in Vancouver. Um, so what kind of bagel did you get? I got an everything bagel of plain cream cheese. I got a four cheese bagel with herb and garlic. Herb, herb and garlic cream cheese. Herb and garlic. I always really like going to Tim Hortons because it makes me feel so Canadian. And and like I feel like when I go into Tim Hortons, it is like I'm walking into the stereotype of Canada. It's like so Canadian. And then like when I'm away, when I leave Canada for a little while, I always come back and one of the first things I do is I go to mm -hmm. Tim Hortons. Yeah, I get like withdrawals from <laughs> Timmy's when I'm in the US. <laughs> Even if it's just like I'm gone for like a week, I'm like, Tim Hortons, <laughs> just because I can't have it. So we've done this drive like many, many times before because Erica's grandparents lived in the Okanagan, and uh, my grandparents also live in the Okanagan as well, so we, we make that drive. It's about a four and a half hour drive from Vancouver. Um, we make the drive uh, often, multiple times a year to visit family, and I really enjoy it. Like, I really like um, road trips. Do you like road trips? Heck yeah. Heck yeah? <laughs> road trips are one of my favorite types of trips to take. My favorite way to do a road trip is if I get to drive, like, just a little bit, at least. Like, otherwise I don't really like sitting in the car just sort of have nothing to do. But that's like my main, like my favorite, number one way to travel. Number two is by um, plane and then number three is by train. My least favorite is by bus. Yeah. I hate taking the bus and that's, we've done this trip in a bus before and it's just like Ugh. so annoying. It takes forever. It takes like 
Six hours. Like, yeah, two hours longer, pretty much. And so, what is your favorite type of travel? Like, what is your favorite type of trip to take, I guess I should say? Like, the last vlog I did, I took a plane to LA, and it was like a three-day trip. It was a really short trip, but I had a lot of fun, because... I got to fly, and uh, one of the first times I've like ever like done a whole trip completely on my own, and it was really cool. I really enjoyed vlogging it too. I hope you guys liked that vlog. But anyways, we're gonna finish our bagels. We had a little mook bang here. I guess that's what I guess I don't know really know what a mook bang is, but I've, I've always hear people talk life. about mook bang when they're eating and they're doing a video. So I hope I did that right. Um, but anyways, we're gonna finish eating our bagels, and then we're gonna continue the road trip, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a few minutes. For you, it's gonna be like three seconds, so like, right now. So the thing I find really hard about these videos, these vlogs, I really enjoy doing them. But the most challenging thing for me is like when stand-up, doing segues and transitions so that the next little clip is connected and it makes- Hello, and welcome to Gig's Guide to Road Trips. So I have a few rules and recommendations when going on a road trip. Things that I think make a road trip a road trip. So first of all, I recommend starting with a full tank of gas. That's what I did today. Now I know I'm not going to run out of gas, and that's always a good thing. Second of all, make sure you have lots of snacks, things that you can eat while driving that's not too distracting, and always drink water. And then make sure that you have a road trip buddy that you enjoy being around, that has a good taste in music and can help you when you get lost. And the last thing I recommend is to take frequent breaks and to always stop when there's a good view. Ew. Gross. 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 As she says when she kisses me again. Okay, so we made it to our destination. It was a good drive. It was like raining on and off and it snowed. Uh, I really enjoyed this road trip. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I got to bring you guys along with me. But uh, I gotta wrap up the vlog because now we're here and we're gonna spend some time with family. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching this and for having a fun time with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm gonna do more road trips this year, especially in the summer. I'm gonna try and have lots of fun and go on some adventures and I'll bring you guys with me. But as always, thank you for watching. You are awesome, and I'll see you next time.